Hey Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a weekly love reading for the sign of Cancer. So if you're a Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Cancer, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. All right. Okay, let's begin. And do consider subscribing to my channel. That way it will help me to tap into your energy for future readings. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Some messages for cancer. Messages for cancer. Messages for cancer. Thank you. Messages for cancers. Thank you, spirits. Thank you, universe. Messages for cancer, please. Messages for cancer. What's coming towards cancer? Messages for cancer. You are manifesting a lot of happiness right now, Cancer. Wish fulfillment, happiness, happy times. You could have some celebrations. You could also be coming back into union with someone, a romantic partner or soulmate. Yeah, you could be having reconciliation with someone, reconnecting with someone. You could also be having some epiphanies regarding your own self-sabotaging self -sabotaging behavior. Whatever you are, whatever behavior you have that only just ends up sabotaging your own happiness. You are analyzing that. You are going through a lot of analysis. You are having a bit of... Um, you're trying to go inside and find answers. You And you are very connected right now to these answers. You are going to get whatever answers you are looking for right now. If, if these questions are surrounded, you're surrounding your self-sabotaging behavior, then these answers are going to come soon. You are going to get the clarity. Also, if it is someone around you who's trying to use sneaky methods, who's trying to manipulate you, who's trying to, you know, one up you some way, you know, you are going to get that clarity. You are going to understand it. If anyone around you is, is behaving sneaky and you feel like you don't know who that is, you are going to come to know about that person soon you will be understanding their behavior too i also feel like you are very ready right now to take this leap of faith when it comes to your happiness whatever makes you happy you are going to just go for it without putting without thinking it you, that is why you are finding out you are getting this revelation so that you do not stand in your own way so that you can manifest this happiness the more you find out what is these limiting beliefs, the self-sabotaging issues that you have, the more you are going to be able to manifest this 10 of cups for yourself. All right, Cancer. Okay, let's see. Let's see, get some more cards. Yeah, okay. The devil, the seven of pen pentacles. Yeah, there's toxicity around you. People could be really, really jealous uh, around you right now. There are people around you who is making you question your own worth. You are really putting your effort into things and the these people around you are just 
making you second guess yourself get rid of these people there are a lot of toxicity around you right now uh, this toxicity can be in your workplace too you are surrounded by toxic colleagues so there's some office politics going on and the thing is the more you focus on this office politics or whatever is toxic in your workplace situation the more you're going to lose your focus the more you're going to second guess yourself okay there are people around you behaving very very sneakily and it is if you focus too much on these people you are just going to ruin your own happiness you are putting in a lot of effort when it comes to your work and all this second guessing is because of people around you whether it's family friend colleagues anyone it is you need to cut them out because people could also be very jealous of the kind of effort you are putting in right now you know like you have put in a lot of effort and people around you are jealous and they just don't want you to be seen they don't want to see you to be successful and that is why they are trying to bring in this devil energy and this devil this seven of swords energy and they are making you second guess yourself also there's seven seven here you could be seeing a lot of sevens Okay, so bottom line is you need to cut people, whoever is going to, you need to get out of this toxic surroundings that you are. There are a lot of toxic people around you. I can feel that right now. And look at this. The bottom of the deck is king of swords. Yeah, cut out people who are not serving you. Cut out people who are just trying to mess with your energy, mess with your vibe. Okay. All right, now let's see what's coming in love. What's coming in love? Oh my God. Five of swords, the seven of swords, what's going on, Cancer? The two of pentacles. You're dealing with someone who clearly doesn't know your value, who's juggling you with someone else, who has juggled you with someone else. They could be still juggling you with someone else. This person is not done behave, you know, if they behaved very sneakily in the past, they tried inducing unnecessary arguments, fights. They got into these fights only just to prove themselves right, only to get attention from you. This person is not done with their games. Whoever this person is, they are very, very imbalanced. This person may be going through something in their life right now, but they are not done behaving in this five of swords. answer i need to tell you this um be very careful about who you are letting in right now and look at this the devil and the queen of cups this queen of cups feels like your energy cancer this queen of cups is a water energy cancer pisces scorpio so whoever you are attracting right now whoever you are letting in right now in your life be very careful there are people around you who are very insecure, who just want your very kind, healing energy. They want your attention. And that is why they are going to play mind games to get your attention. There could be also a lot of gaslighting. Whoever's coming in has a lot of insecurities. They are not sure of themselves. They are also very scared. This person is scared of their emotions. This person is scared of being vulnerable. They are going through a lot of emotional upheaval, a lot of emotional up and down right now. So be careful of that. Okay. Empress. Yeah. Someone has their eyes on you. 
the empress is in the right in the middle of the spread here so someone really has their eyes on you they want to pursue pursue you they are coming after you but this person doesn't have the greatest of energy right now you could be dealing with a pisces um a libra or a taurus or a capricorn even be careful about who you are giving your cup of love to right now page of cups you are going to get some sort of apology or someone is going to give you say something express something to you this could be very small offering it is not going to be great yeah and bottom of the deck is the knight of cups someone is coming towards you with an emotional offer now this person is going to come off as emotional but they may still try to emotionally manipulate you because they are not emotionally very stable themselves. They have a lot of emotional upheaval going inside of them. But this person sees you as they feel like this empress energy from you and that is why they want to pursue you. They also want a new beginning with you. They want commitment with you. If there's distance between the both of you, if there's no communication right now between the both of you, they want to communicate with you. They hate this no communication thing. And as I say that, here's the nine of swords and the ace of swords. The ace of swords do talk about communication, a new beginning. While the nine of swords... This person is in their head. They're losing their sleep over the fact that there's too much distance between the both of you right now. They might also see you as someone who's getting a lot of attention from other people. There are people around you who want to give attention to you. You are a very, this empress-like energy who generally has a lot of suitors a lot of people pursuing you bottom of the deck is the five of cups here yeah this person is they are sad about how things went between the both of you about how things are right now between the both of you this person could have some inner childhood wounds too childhood wounds childhood trauma But they are really in their head right now. They are losing sleep over the fact that they feel very defeated too. They feel very defeated. They feel sad. They are heartbroken about how this thing, how this connection is going right now. The distance between the both of you right now is really, really haunting this person. They could be thinking you are giving to someone else too because of which they are losing their sleep. The idea of you being with someone else is making this person lose their sleep. Yeah, look at this again. I shuffled the cards in the Ten of Wands. Yeah, this there's a heavy burden over this person right now with the fact that there's a huge distance between the both of you. The world and the Ten of Wands. The distance between the both of you is very heavy on this person. 
It's really weighing on this person. The sadness is weighing on this person. This person is feeling very heavy emotions right now. They're very down. They're also very low vibrational. And that is why this person might behave in this sneaky manner when they try to approach you, when they come towards you. But they do want to communicate with you. the empress the, the, you have a lot of happy memories together bottom of the deck is the queen of wands too this you as someone uh, who is very very attractive and here we go the devil the queen of wands the queen of cups you are very much in touch with your emotions at the same time you are very fiery you are very passionate and that is why this person has some obsession with you they're very attracted to you there's a lot of physical attraction here too so you are capable of physically giving to this person as well as emotionally fulfilling them, which is very attractive to this person because this is fire and water, which is a very attractive combination. They also see you as the sun, like someone who brings in a lot of happiness in their life. You brought in a lot of clarity, a lot of happiness to this person, towards this person. Oh, wow. Yeah, they know you, you, your guards are up when it comes to this person. They are very aware that you are not going to welcome this person with open arms. You are not going to welcome them with this Queen of Cups energy. Right now, you are in this Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Cups is a very kind, nurturing, welcoming energy. But this Queen of Wands doesn't... Yeah, if you don't come... This is the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords. You, you can't bullshit them this energy of queen of wands okay they also see you as someone with like with whom they have a soulmate connection they feel a deep passionate connection with them uh, between the both of you also the devil and the lovers is here and they have both very similar cards they want movement they might also feel like you're moving towards someone else you could have other options because the lovers does talk about options so you might be moving towards someone else. You might have a lot of options. Yeah, see the Knight of Cups again. This person might feel like you are moving towards someone else. you they want to the world was here this person and the there's literally a globe in this guy's hand they want to cover the distance between the both of you they want this wheel to turn in their favor they don't want this distance between the both of you and they want to come towards you because they are very very attracted to you they can't let you go bottom of the deck is the nine of cups Ooh, and here we have the two of cups. You also have the eight of cups here. And the king of wands. So we have the queen of wands and the king of wands. Yeah, they see you as a match. This person sees you as someone who fulfills them emotionally a lot. And the lovers and the two of cups is here. So this is a soulmate connection. They can feel this connection. They have tried walking away from this connection too. Like look at this, the five of cups, eight of cups. They were very sad about this connection. And this connection caused them a lot of pain. They are in pain right now. And they tried walking away from this pain. They tried walking away from this connection. But it only made them, it made it harder for them to walk away from you. So they couldn't. And that is why they want to come towards you. They want to reconnect with you. 
the king of wands they want to pursue and the justice they want the balance the balance was missing in the past the two of pentacles they could be juggling you they were imbalanced in themselves but now they want to pursue you and they want to bring the balance in okay let's see the advice for you advice for cancer please advice for cancer three of cups bottom of the deck king of pentacles the hanged man and the eight of pentacles and the king of swords okay all right there are good things going on in your life right now cancer focus on that focus on friends family having some good time celebrating taking care care of yourself working on things that make you happy working on your own stability the king of pentacles the eight of pentacles work on your own stability you are right now working towards perfecting something a skill maybe you have started something new and you want to keep pursuing that do that because this is going to bring in a lot of happiness whatever you are working on right now it is going to bring in celebrations and happiness go out with your friends have fun and also try to gain clarity about this person about this connection here okay because this person when they comes in you need to know what you want from this person because they are coming in and you need to get the clarity and i feel like for that you need to spend some time alone too to gain gain that clarity you also need to be in this king of swords energy when this person comes in because the five of swords that i in the beginning of the reading i said this is how this person is going to come towards you with this five of swords energy so you need to be the king of swords okay if this person comes in with the five of swords make sure they don't try to fool you they don't try to bullshit you all right okay let's see some messages Please don't move on. I do talk about you. Why are you so mean? I feel like you have moved on from me. Yeah. You inspire me. I show off on social media for you. bottom of the deck is i love when you flirt with me the king of wands and the queen of wands was there it was, it's a very fiery energy so yeah there's a lot of passion passion between the both of you a lot of flirting life is a series of constantly shifting cycles when we resist change we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress go with the flow you will be surprised where it leads yeah don't wait for this person or don't try to stop living your life don't do that to yourself divine timing okay cancer that's your reading i hope you find the clarity you've been looking for i'll see you guys in your next reading until then take care guys bye bye